Alright, hello guys. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about this deadly cold outbreak that we're going to be having that you might have heard about for the 29th through the 30th about. And that's going to be mostly for the Midwest and the upper portions of the Great Lakes, that type of area. So if you're in those areas, stay tuned in this video for sure as this is going to be talking a lot about those temperatures. We're going to take a look at the GEFS, which is the GFS Ensemble model. Uh, and this is 84 hours out, so January 29th. We're going to start 0Z Tuesday here. Uh, you can see it's kind of cold. We're looking at negative 8 in some areas, negative 12, negative 11, and some of those purples and even through the whites. Uh, and, and then we're going to move on to 6Z Tuesday, so this is six hours later. And you can see some of those negative 21, negative 16, negative 14, negative 8, widespread through Minnesota uh, and North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa area, Wisconsin starting to get in on it. Uh, and as we move on to 12Z, you can see we're starting to get some of the negative 31s, negative 29, negative 24, negative 21, negative 15. And these negative temperatures are starting to reach Chicago and areas like that. We're going to move on one more to 12Z Wednesday, and you can see this is the peak of it. Uh, this is negative 39, negative 40s, right there in that negative 30 to 40 range, 20s negative 20s for Chicago, uh, and those negative temperatures reach a lot of areas uh, in this very, very untypical, very, very cold. I, I believe this is the coldest we've had in two years, they're saying. So very cold stuff here, uh, and, and some areas are going to break records that go way further back than that. You know, I've heard 25 years thrown around. It just depends how cold this gets. Now we're going to move on to some different models. Here's the ECMWF and we're going to have to look at the color range on the side, your right hand side there, uh, because unfortunately this one does not have numbers on the screen there. But you can see those pink colors is really where we're getting to your negative 30s and above. So I'm just going to go over some of the models and the peak coldness. It should be right around 6Z or 12Z Wednesday for each of them. But you, you see those pinks in there, this model definitely agrees, negative 30 is going to be pretty widespread. Uh, and here's your FV3GFS, again negative 30s and 40s widespread from Chicago up through the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, all of you are looking at negative 30s. Here's your GEM model, and this is the warmest one I believe, your CMC Canadian model. Uh, and this likes to keep it out of the 40s and, and generally in the 30s and 20s. So this is kind of your warmest case scenario right here that I've seen so far. So the Canadian model calling for negative 20s is going to be best case scenario. Uh, and, and here's your typical GFS model, again calling for th negative 30s and negative upper 30s for most areas. Some negative 40s probably popping up there for North Dakota in some areas as well. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe. This is serious cold. If you're in any of those areas that are going to be experiencing negative temperatures, it's going to be extremely cold. That was not wind chill temperatures. That was actual temperatures. So it's going to be insanely cold. Uh, I would try to stay indoors completely, obviously, if you live in any of those areas. And really everywhere in the, in the north central United States is going to be experiencing very cold temperatures. So even if it's not in the negative tem temperatures or you're not in the most extreme, that doesn't mean that uh, this, this can't affect you or won't be dangerous for you as everywhere in the in the northern United States will be experiencing very cold temperatures uh, during the last few days of January anyway guys I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching again stay safe uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one